Hey guys, it's gonna be our channel fishing catch and cook video. Look at this cook part of this video right now. Check it out. Yep. Swimming this morning, gonna be dinner tonight. Oh yeah. This thing right here. Get a nice one. There you go, Matt. Nice work, buddy. Matt, get him. That's a big fish. Dinner is served tonight. Yeah, that's cool. Never stop learning, baby. We got my man Matt on the boat got again. Matt today. out today. Yeah. Hopefully we can keep a hook out of his hand today. Yeah, yeah guys. that's the plan. So, so uh, check this out, man. Florida Keys, guys. It's windy a lot of the time. So we got to figure out things to do on these windy days, man. So uh, hopefully this video will show you what you can do on one of these windy days. Stay yeah. tuned. All right, you guys, so yeah, we're fishing in the rain here a little bit, but uh, some gnarly weather, but man, we're well, getting on them. Yeah, man, got, got a little dinner right here. A nice mangrove snapper. Second one of the day. Yeah, man, so uh, putting together a little little bit of a dinner fight here. Heck yeah. See if Matt, the big Matt man got the first one. Yeah. Got a nice one? Nice. Yeah. All right. Moonfish. It's a moonfish. Moonfish. Oh, big one. It's a big one. Putting him in the cooler, boy. Let's see that guy, another species here. Yep. I wait, I'm oh, on, get him. There you go, Matt. Nice work, buddy. Matt, get him. That's a big fish. Woo, you got That's a big good, fish there, Matt. Nice job, Matthew. Nice, uh -oh. bro. Oh, that might be our jumbo snapper right there. Oh, oh shoot. Come on, Matt. You're get good, him. you're good, you're good. And nice, oh, man. Big mangy. Flip him in, Matt. Just oh. flip him in. Woo! Yeah! Oh, nice oh, freaking yeah. work, bro. Matt. Look at that. <laughs> Moonfish and fat mangy right there. Yeah. Channel fishing at its finest right there. Dude, that's my DVD. You got him in the face. Channel fishing, catch and cook. In some terrible weather. About to happen. We got it going on, baby. Yes. Dinner is served tonight. Yeah, baby. <laughs> what do you think, Matt? Okay, right here, here. here. You, it's a tank, Matt. Piggy. Nice, bro. Get him in. He's barely hooked. <laughs> oh, damn. Look at that. Another dude, freaking another tank. Another dude, tank, we dinner, bro. Dude, we Look at that. Yeah. Keep that fish in a boat. Look at that tank. It's about to rain. It's raining hey, right guys. now, people. Sorry about the camera if it's uh, got raindrops on it, but hey, man. If the fish are eating, if the fish are eating, we're you gotta keep on, baby. baby. Look at that stud. Yeah, that bad one. Because we're in the freaking bite right now. The bite is hot on big mangroves. Woo! Freaking mangrove snapper Egg right mangrove. there. And a piece of shrimp, dude. Yeah, buddy. A good and sharp i like to use a sharpening stone some people use steel it's all up to you man as long as that as long as that knife is good and sharp yeah that's good what's up guys all right so we're gonna do the cook part of this video right now check it out yep so we got this uh skillet basically we just set this thing to uh 350 yeah Pretty much any medium setting on a normal stove, all right? Yeah. We like to do it outside so it doesn't, uh, you know, smell up the house. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good, though. <laughs> all right, so here we go, guys. So what we do is, I like to use two different oils, man. I like the coconut oil, because first of all, it's super healthy, and it gives an awesome taste to the fish. And I like to put a little bit of olive oil in there as well, all right? It gives a different texture to it. And then what I like, I love Everglades seasoning, you guys. You really can't go wrong with any of the Everglades seasoning. And basically what I like to do is I put a little bit of the fish and chicken on there. This one's super salty, so you can't put too much. And then a little bit of the cactus dust. This one has a little bit more sugar in it, so it's a little bit sweeter. But man, the combination of these two makes a sick blackened fish, oh, yeah. all right? So, all right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to get some of these uh, snapper fillets. That you just saw us uh, filleting. This is actually one of the look down fillets. So I like to like keep my fish separated, yeah? So we're gonna keep the snapper over here and look downs over here. It's another look down right there. And basically what I do is I put, a, a put down some paper towels and then I'm gonna put some paper towels on the top of them. That's a snapper. Put down the paper towels on the top of them so it will um, absorb all the water because you know, oil and water you know explosion yeah, we yeah. Don't want that. so we're gonna dry these things up real good 
most important thing here, guys, is fresh fish, man. If the fish is fresh and you don't overcook it, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Especially if it was swimming the same day. If you catch it swimming the same day, cook it a few hours after, that is what it's gonna be the absolute best. Yeah, man. These guys were swimming this morning, right? Yeah, this morning, like mm -hmm. probably three hours ago, four yep. hours ago. Swimming this morning, gonna be dinner tonight. Oh yeah. So what you guys, uh, what we're gonna do here is just cover these uh, fillets on the top with the paper towels also. So basically it's gonna get all the moisture out of these fillets so the oil doesn't, uh, you know, explode with the water, yeah. okay? So, all right, so we're gonna get this coconut oil first, okay? <clears throat> Pretty much any coconut oil is gonna work. I like the organic stuff we get at, uh, I think it's Trader Joe's. Right? Yeah. Whatever. So basically we're gonna get like a good mounding tablespoon of that stuff right there. And what we wanna do is we just wanna coat the whole skillet. And you can use, do this inside, coating the skillet. I, just, I wish you guys could smell this because it smells like coconuts. Yeah, it's pretty great. And it's fantastic. Even if you don't like coconuts, it still smells good. Man. All right, so we got a little coconut oil in there. By the way, it's one of the healthiest oils you can uh, eat, guys. Yeah, it's super it is. good for you. It's super amazing. All right, and then we're gonna put just a little bit. So like, kind of like two to one here. So yeah. two parts to one part. But yeah, I don't really measure anything when I cook, so it's kind of- Yeah. Yeah. It's all the way cooking. Yeah, man. Fresh fish, man, you know? Yeah. Doesn't really matter how you cook it. Yeah, it's I mean, great. God did all the hard work, so whatever, you know? Yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm just cooking. <laughs> all right, so you just basically want to coat the whole bottom of the skillet. And it helps have some Bob Marley playing, too. Yeah. It just sets the mood, man. Yeah, it just sets the mood a little bit. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to take this, uh, these paper towels off of this fish here. And now these fillets are nice and dry. Okay? Yep. So they're not gonna not gonna hurt you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of this one first. We're gonna use the small holes. Because remember this one's this one's really salty. So the Everglades uh, fish and chicken, right? So we're just gonna lightly dust this one here. And on this one I'm gonna go a little bit a little heavier. Uh, again, this one has some sugar in it. And that's great for a fish like snapper. Yeah, very. And we give it a little bit of a sweet taste to it. But there's also enough, you know, like cayenne in it to give it that good blackened flavor. And then what I like to do here, after I've dusted these pretty good, is just kind of like rub that seasoning in. All right, it helps it stay on there. Because we're going to put this side down. All right. So we're going to take this fillet here, dust it side down. And that's what you should hear right there. It shouldn't be overly noisy, but you should definitely hear it. Yep. Hear that oil start to do its magic. Yeah. I like to have the dusted side down so you can put dust on the other side right we're gonna exactly we're, exactly we're gonna season this side now yeah now that we've put these down that's cute the cat they're all full of fish not full. yeah she's full she's done what do you say tiki <laughs> just gonna do the same exact thing we just did on that first side on this side lightly dusting with the oh, first one but you guys are here to smell that pretty great yeah it's pretty fantastic <laughs> pretty fantastic swimming this morning about to be dinner man. oh yeah it's gonna be sick it's freaking legit and you guys you can do this with anything you can do this with fish that you guys catch up north yep my ice fishing buddies there yep jag fishing all these other guys man hey you can do this with all those fish man It'll oh work. yeah Let's give a little shout out to uh, Jag Fishing and RKJ Fishing, man. Hey, you guys, you guys are awesome. Thanks for the support. And uh, you guys should try this recipe, man. It's awesome. Oh yeah, it's freaking sick. Every fish works for everything. You know, walleye, crappie, perch, you know, whatever you might get, this freaking freaking recipe is gonna work. Dude, you wanna, dude, you guys, you do not wanna overcook this fish, man. No, Pretty not much at all. any fish, man, yeah. You wanna keep it, like really moist, really soft. So as soon as you start seeing some of the white on the side here, all right, you wanna go ahead and flip those over, all right? Yep. See how that's just, just a little bit blackened, okay? It's not like crazy black and burnt, yeah? Yeah. Especially because main reason, 
My wife doesn't like it like that. She doesn't yeah, like it like yeah, that. Yeah, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. people said. All right. GoPro's about to die, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Yep. Hey, three minutes on each side, pretty much. What, three to five minutes on each yeah. side? 350, coconut oil, olive oil, a little bit of Everglades seasoning. Oh, yeah. Fish and chicken. Because we're all about Cactus saving stuff. the glades here, baby. All oh, right? Yeah. All right, you guys. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch us next time. Peace out.